Good morning everyone! Today, I am going to perform a demo teaching among grade 3 pupils about slow, moderate, and fast tempo. But before anything else, I would like to introduce myself first. I am Mr. Jobert Valiente Facun, presently residing at Barangay Santa Inis West, Santa Ignacio Tarlac, and currently taking up Bachelor of Elementary Education, major in General Education at Tarlac State University. And here are my objectives. At the end of the discussion, the grade 3 pupils should be able to distinguish fast, moderate, and slow speed of music, relate movement to tempo, respond to tempo by moving, and lastly, use the terms fast, moderate, and slow to identify tempo. So I hope that everybody will pay attention to my demo teaching so that you may learn and you can utilize those learnings in your future teaching career. Alright, okay, so please everybody listen, sit back, relax, and let us all watch and enjoy the demo teaching that I have prepared. Okay, class. Am I audible? Do you hear me? Do you see me on your screen? Alright! Before we begin, kindly open your cameras and please do unmute your microphone as we ask for grace of our Lord God. Okay! Children, do you still remember our song for the opening prayer? Alright! Then, what is the title of the song? Good job! The title of the song is, Jesus Loves Me. Okay, so at the count of three, I want everybody to sing, Jesus Loves Me, together with the music video. Are you ready? Okay, so at the count of three, one, two, three, Ready, sing! Jesus loves me, this I know For the Bible tells me so Little ones to Him belong They are weak in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amazing children, always remember that Jesus loves us. As the Bible says in John 13 verse 34, we must love one another in the same way he loved us. This is how everyone will recognize that we are his disciplines when they see the love we have for each other. Okay? Alright! 
So, good morning, my great trip pupils. Wow! I can see a lot of happy faces today. And everybody's clean and well-groomed. Good job! Anyways, how's your day? Alright! Very good to hear that your day is turning out well. Now, please everybody remain your cameras open and unmute yourselves because we are going to sing our song every morning. Alright! At the count of three, we will sing our song. One, two, and three. Ready, sing! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. One, two, one, two, three! Good morning! children now say good morning to your classmates ask them if they have a great and amazing morning like you is everybody okay children all right i am glad to know that then we must do the good job clap at the count of three let us do it together okay one two and three G O O D G O B G O O D G O B good job good job G O O D G O B G O O D G O B good job good job good job Now before we proceed to our discussion let me first check your attendance Children as we used to do every morning upon calling your names everyone used to say present but let us make it in a creative way. Once I call your name, you must sing for at least two to three lyrics or lines of your favorite song instead of saying present, okay? It is up to you on how fast or slow you can sing your chosen song. Is that clear, children? Alright, so let's start with... Miss Abalos. Okay, what a beautiful voice, Miss Abalos. And lastly, Mr. Zamora. Okay, what an amazing voice, Mr. Zamora. Very good. Upon checking of my attendance, 
my grade 3 pupils are all present today. Now, class, did I give you an assignment? Okay, so I hope that everybody had already passed their assignment to the assignment tab that I had created last night. Okay, great. Now, let us do the good job clap again. At the count of three, let us do it together, okay? One, two, three. G-O-O-D, G-O-P. G-O-O-D, G-O-P. Good job. Good job. G-O-O-D, G-O-P. G-O-O-D, G-O-P. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now, before we continue, let us recall our guidelines when we have our lessons. First, be prepared and do our activities. Second, be positive and be happy. Third, be productive. Fourth, be respectful of your classmates and teacher. Fifth, be participative. Sixth, Unmute your microphone and open your camera if needed. And lastly, raise your hand button if you want to say something. Do you understand, class? Okay, nice. So, class, it's music time again. I have a song that I have prepared. I will sing it first. And for the second time, let us sing it together, okay? Alright, so the title of the song is Music Time. So allow me to sing it first, okay? Alright, so... Oh, it's music time after all. 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 Okay, everybody sings with me. Oh, it's music time after all. 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 Okay, very good. Let's start then. It's a good day to brain up. So, children, do you still remember our lesson yesterday? Anyone? Yes, Miss Lagunero. All right. So yesterday, we have discussed about fastness and slowness in music. So, what do we call today speed in music? Yes, Mr. Mariano. Okay, it is tempo. Very good. So what else did we discuss? Yes, Miss Rufo. All right, we also discussed on how to sing songs with proper tempo based on conducting gestures. Good job! So, for me to know if you really listened to our lesson yesterday, you will be going to sing a song. Mga alaga kong hayop. And after a while, we would have an oral recitation, okay? So, I will be dividing the class into five groups and each group will sing each line on the lyrics using the appropriate speed for each animal movement. However, allow me to sing the song first and after that, you will sing with your respective groups, okay? Alright, so let's start. So, I will be now playing the music video. Okay? Alright. Lumipad, lumipad ang ibon, ang ibon, ang ibon. Lumipad, lumipad ang ibon. 
Panginoon sa magandang pugad. Tumakbo, tumakbo ang pusa, ang pusa, ang pusa. Tumakbo, tumakbo ang pusa sa loob ng bahay. Tumalon, tumalon ang aso, ang aso, ang aso. Tumalon, tumalon ang aso sa magandang bakot. Tumapang, tumapang ang So that is the song of Mga Alaga Kong Hayop! Now, before we start class, kindly recall our standards in performing group activity. Okay, so kindly enumerate the acronym for groups. So let's start with letter G. Anyone? Yes, Miss Peig? Alright, G stands for Get Along. What about R? Yes, Miss Guerrero. Okay, respect others. What about O? Yes, Miss Guzman. All right, on task. What about letter U? Yes, Miss Dakigan. Okay, use any form to communicate. And what about the last letter? Letter P. Yes, Miss Lagonero. Okay. P stands for participate. Again. So we have an acronym for groups. G stands for get along. R stands for respect others. O stands for on task. U stands for use any form to communicate. And lastly, P stands for participate. Okay, very good, class. Now, let us start your collaborative activity. Okay, so it should be simultaneously, okay? You need to sing the lyrics simultaneously. Okay, so after the first group, the next group will follow, okay? So, as you can see on the screen, the uh, lyrics of this song... Mga alaga kung hayop is already provided. Okay? So, you need to follow the order of your group as you sing each line on the lyrics. Okay? So, at the count of three, you must start. Okay? So, one, two, and three. Ready? Sing! All right, very good class. All the groups did a great job. So now, let us start our recitation. So, kindly identify the animals present in the song. Mga alaga kong hayop. Okay, so, what are the animals mentioned in the song? You may use your raise hand button to recite. Give me one, anyone? Yes, Miss Lagunero. Okay, a bird. So, how does a bird move based on the speed of the song? Alright, very good. The bird moves moderate. So, what else? Yes, Miss Guerrero. Okay, a cat. So, how does a cat move based on the speed of the song? Good job. The cats move Moderate. Okay. So, what else? Yes, Mr. Dom Dominic Mariano. Okay. A dog. So, how does a dog move based on the speed of the song? Okay. Good job. So, a dog moves fast. So, what else? Yes, Miss Rufo. Okay, a turtle. So, how does a turtle move based on the speed of the song? 
Good job! So the turtle moves slow. And lastly, anyone? Yes, Miss Peg. Okay, a rabbit. So how does a rabbit move based on the speed of the song? Okay, great. A rabbit moves as to how bird and cat move. They are moving moderately. Alright, amazing class. I'm so glad that you were able to identify the animals present in the song Mga Alaga Kung Hayop. You were also able to sing the songs by using the proper speed for each animal movement. So, let us do the good job clap again. So, at the count of three, let us do it together, okay? Okay, so, one, two, three, go! G-O-O-D, G-O-B, G-O-O-D, G-O-B, good job, good job, G-O-O-D, G-O-B, G-O-O-D, G-O-B, good job, good job, good job! Now, look at the picture on your screen. Kindly tell something about the picture, anyone? Yes, Miss Rufo. Precisely, the picture shows an illustration of a train in different direction. Now, have you experienced riding on a train? Yes, Miss Peig. Uh huh. How about Miss? Lagunero. Okay. So, how about when the train is coming? What would be its sound? Anyone? Yes, Mr. Mariano. Okay. Toot. 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 Correct. So, that is the sound of a train. Now, do you know the chant song about the train? Okay! For those who do not know, the title of the song is Engine Engine Number 9. So, I had downloaded a music video last night and I would like you to watch it and be, be familiarized rather with the song because after that we will going to sing it together understood class all right so I will be now playing the song okay <laughs> So let us all sing together. Once again, engine, engine number nine. Sing all together, okay? Going down the railroad line. Louder! If 
the train gets off the track Will I get my money back? Louder! Engine, engine number nine Going down the railroad line If the train gets off the tracks Will I get my money back? Engine, engine number nine Going down the railroad line If the train gets off the tracks Will I get my money back? Engine, engine number nine Going down the railroad line If the train gets off the tracks Will I get my money back? No Okay, so that is the song of Engine Engine number 9. So class, did you have fun? Wow, I am glad to know that. Now, based on the song that we sang, what did you observe? Anyone? Yes, Miss Pagatpatan. Alright, the speed of the song. So, what did you have noticed with the speed of the song? Anyone? Yes, Miss Collis. Exactly. The speed of the song has changed every now and then. Sometimes it becomes slow. Sometimes it becomes moderate. And, of course, sometimes it becomes fast okay so now based on that what do you think is our lesson for this day anyone yes miss agbanawag okay slow moderate and fast uh-huh a while ago you also mentioned the speed of the song so what is the topic Anyone? Yes, Miss Tanyana. Aha, uh -huh, tempo. You are almost there. Anyone? Yes, Miss Lagonero. Very good, Miss Lagonero. So our topic for today is all about slow, moderate, and fast tempo. Now, take a look at this picture class. Alright, so where is train A going? Anyone? Yes, Miss Pagaspatan. Good job. The train A is going up the hill. What about train B? Anyone? Yes, Miss Collis. Good job. The train B is going down the hill. How about train C? Anyone? Yes, Miss Agbanawag. Good job. The train C is going to the crossing. Now, if train A is going up the mountain, what will be its speed? Anyone? Yes, Miss Lagunero. Good job. If the train is going up the mountain, it will move slowly. How about if the train is going down? What will be its speed? Anyone? Yes, Miss Guerrero. Good job. If the train is going down the mountain, it will move faster. Now, the train C is nearing the crossing and about to stop. What do you think will be its speed? Anyone? Yes, Miss Rufo. Good job. If the train is going to the crossing, it will move moderately getting slow. Consequently, tempo can be shown through different movements. It can be slow, moderate, or fast. Understood, class? Alright, very good. Now, let us have 
an activity again. You will be going to have a virtual role playing. I will be giving you a minimum of 3 minutes and a maximum of 5 minutes for your presentation. So, I will be dividing the class into 5 groups, okay? So, each group will assign a leader who will lead the train on their journey. Is that clear, class? Alright! Therefore, you need to select your final destination, okay? If, where would you prefer to travel at? Okay, so the members will act as passengers. They will describe the animals, things that they could have seen while traveling. And they must identify how that particular animal or thing moves. Is that clear? Okay. However, the leader will act as a driver. Okay? So, he or she will guide the members of the proper speed as they go up, go down, and near the crossing. So, I will be giving you 5 minutes to prepare and after that, let us get into the presentation. Is everything clear, class? Okay. So, what does GROUPS stands for? Anyone? Okay, good job, Mr. Mariano. So, you may start now planning your presentation. Okay. Alright, children, it is already time. Is everybody okay? Amazing. So, is everybody ready? Alright, so if that is the case, let us start your presentation. So, let's start with group 1. Okay, good job group 1. How about group 2? Alright, good job group 2. How about group 3? Okay, good job, group 3. Next would be group 4. Okay, great. Group 4, how about group 5? The last to perform. Okay, very good. Alright, what an amazing presentation class. Kindly give a virtual clap for everyone because you have done a great job. You were able to identify the animals and things present while you were traveling. And aside from that, you were able to relate movement to tempo by classifying the proper speed of the train as it goes to its direction. Alright class, to sum it up, I have one last question. Okay? So again, in what speed did we move to show the different tempos? Give me one. Yes, Miss Lagonero. Okay, fast, correct. Another one. Yes, Miss Guerrero. Okay, moderate, nice. How about the last one? Yes, Mr. Mariano. Okay, slow, exactly. So, is there any question, class? All right. So, is everything clear about slow, moderate, and fast tempo, class? Okay, so it's so nice to hear that. Very good. Okay, class. Always remember that tempo plays a significant role in music. Okay? Because tempo conveys an emotion of a certain music. It could help you on how to figure out the message of the song even with the absence of the lyrics. Okay, so... Class, I hope that you've listened and you've learned with our lesson for today. So, that is the end of the discussion.
Alright, so now for me to know if you really understand our lesson for today, I would like you to bring out your notebook. So, it is our quiz number two for the fourth quarter, okay? Okay, so this is the instruction, okay? Please copy the part one of your quiz. So, all you need to do is to distinguish the tempo of the songs that you are listening to. Draw heart for fast. Draw sad face for slow. Or happy face for moderate. So, uh, the following songs are Bayan Ko, Ikaw Ang Mahal Ko, Tinikling, Akuay Pilipino, at Sa Ugoy ng Duyan. Okay, so kindly copy first. And then after that, I will be uh, playing the uh, songs so that you can distinguish uh, the tempo of the songs. Okay? Alright, so I'll be giving you 5 minutes to copy. Okay, children, it's already time. So, is everybody okay? Are you done copying? Alright, so let's start. Okay. So, this is the first song. Bayan ko. Okay, so listen carefully, okay? Okay, for the number two item, ikaw ang mahal ko. So listen carefully. Okay, so for number three, tinikling, so listen.
Okay, so for our number 4 item, ako ay Pilipino. Okay, listen class. And for the last item, number 5, sa ugoy ng duyan. Okay class, listen! Alright, so are you all done with the first part of our quiz? Alright, so let us proceed to the second part of your quiz. So, as you can see, all you need to do is, again, copy the following uh, data on the screen. And then after that, you will going to answer it. Okay, so for the instruction, all you need to do is to identify the movement of the following pictures. Okay, so I have here different pictures of a carabao a racing car a worm a duck and of course an airplane so all you need to do is to again write F for fast S for slow and letter M for moderate Okay, so do it quietly. Unmute your microphone, please. 
All right, thank you. So I'll be giving you five minutes to accomplish this task. Okay? Okay, class, it's already time. So are you all done? All right. So kindly uh, take a picture of your output. And after that, send it to my Gmail account, okay? So don't forget to write your name and your section, okay? And of course, the quiz number and the date today, okay? All right. So before we dismiss, I would like you to again bring out your assignment notebook and please copy this following instruction okay so as you can see on the screen you will going to list five different kinds of music and practice identifying tempo okay because tomorrow we will discuss variations in tempo okay so all you need to do again is to list five different kinds of music and and identify them if uh, the tempo of uh, each music is uh, classified into uh, slow, moderate, and fast tempo. Okay? Alright. So, is everybody okay? Is everybody done? Okay. So, that is your assignment for today and to be submitted tomorrow. Okay? And of course, again, attach it to the assignment tab that I'll be assigning today. Okay, so class, before we end this meeting, I would like to congratulate and acknowledge the students who participated well in our discussion today. Okay, so I will be now presenting the active students of the day. Okay, first on the list. Congratulations, Miss Laila Joy E. Lagunero. Next, Mr. Emmanuel Dominic V. Mariano. Next, Miss Kyle Trixie A. Guerrero. Next, Miss Ivy Joy F. Peig. And lastly, Miss Erica C. Rufo. Congratulations to all the students who made to the active students of the day. And for those students who are not included their name on the list, do not worry because you still have days for you to be an active student, okay? But I really appreciated your effort and participation throughout our discussion so that would be the end of our lesson for today so i hope you've learned a lot so god bless everyone keep safe and always remember to put a happy ending on your daily life okay so you may now leave the call goodbye and see you tomorrow